Hola, I'm Señor Maraca. And say hello to my little friend. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Creative Times with Carm. I'm Miss Carm, and I am so excited to try out some activities with you guys. So let's get to it. Did you guys know that it is Mexican Independence Day? I did not know that. So today, we are going to be making maracas. Because who doesn't like just shaking around a maraca? I do. But first, I'm going to um, get changed. Give me one, it'll be one second for you guys, all right? One second. There we go. I got this when um, I actually lived in Mexico for a little while. This is a one of their traditional kind of dresses. So, let's get started. The supplies we will need are First thing we're going to be using is a cup of rice. Um, you probably won't use more than this. You might use less depending on the sound you're going for. The next thing I grabbed was some beads. Again, you can use beans. Um, I just prefer the beads because they're more colorful and I want my maraca to be colorful. Next thing I grabbed was two toilet paper rolls. Um, I did not have two at the time, so I just cut down a paper towel roll to be the same size. It does the same thing. So if you don't have two, don't worry. You can just use paper towel. Next thing I grabbed was two bottles, empty and clean, and their lids. You're also going to want some tape and some scissors. I also used some colorful tape at the end. It's just prettier than the masking tape. You can use markers or paint if you want. It all does the same thing. So, we are going to start off with pouring our, taking one of our bottles and pouring our, <laughs> nope, that's not gonna work. So, one thing I forgot is a funnel. I don't actually own a funnel, so we're going to make one, because, I mean, what else can you do? So, to make a funnel, you take a piece of paper, and I think we're going to, yeah, we're going to fold from the corner, and kind of fold on a slant, like, and then you can take your tape. Um, hopefully, it's easy. There we go. Sometimes it takes me forever to get the tape off of the roll. All right, we have a very nice homemade funnel that we will use now to put our beads into our bottle. I actually, okay, let's see if this will, this will work. Ah! Losing beads. Let's try this one last time. You know, I'm going to say third time's a charm. I'm going to say second time's a charm because go big or go home, right? And why do we have to wait three times for something to work? Okay. Have you guys ever made a funnel before? Because this is a first for me. Somehow make it smaller on one end, and ah, like that. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take this. I'm actually gonna. It's not a big enough hole for beads to fit through, 
So I'm going to cut. There we go. And let's try this one last. Beads falling on me, but for the most part, I think it's working. I don't think I cut a big enough hole. Hey, buddy, grab the trusty sister scissors. I'm trying to cut a bigger hole. Hey, progress. We did it! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so now you can test out the sound of it. I like that sound. So that one is going to be done. Next, you take your, your toilet paper roll and you cut straight down. Get that out of the way. Okay, and you're gonna take your Right now, we are just going to be taping up the um, toilet paper roll to the lid and then adding on your fun, colorful tape if you want it, um, and if not, coloring or painting it. I'm going to do, whoop, there goes one of my tapes, a Cherish. I love the pretty blue colors on it, but as I mentioned, I have troubles taking the tape off of the base. There we go. One of my maracas is done. And you can do all of the same steps to the next one. Don't forget your funnel this time. I mean, I really need to be telling myself that. You guys are geniuses and probably all remembered. But if not, that's okay. We learn from our mistakes, right? Like, for this one, I think I'm going to go over the sink. That would be a very big mess to clean up. Alright guys, I'll see you next Thursday. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. Well, that did not work.